On the 72nd anniversary of its navy, the Chinese Navy has commissioned 60,000 tons worth of three main battleships at Sanya in Hainan Naval Facility in disputed South China Sea. To counter the same, Indian Navy is planning to get the delivery of 45,000 ton indigenous INS Vikrant aircraft carrier and 7,500 ton Vizika Patnam class stealth guided missile destroyer by the end 2021 to add to its capability to defend and dominate the Indo Pacific region. Hello, and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis, where we bring to you all the latest developments happening in the defense sector. In today's video, we are going to look into the details of Chinese battleships commissioned recently and their capability. We will also discuss about the PLA Navy's future expansion plan. In the second part of the video, we will be talking about the Indian Navy's plan of commissioning its second aircraft carrier Vikrant and a stealth guided missile destroyer. Last Saturday, the three vessels commissioned by PLA Navy include a Type 075, Yushan class, amphibious helicopter carrier Hainan. A Type 055, Rinhai class, guided missile cruiser Dalian and. A Type 094, Jin class, nuclear powered ballistic missile submarine Chengzing 18. The Hainan, great for taking islands. The Hainan is the lead ship of a new class of amphibious helicopter carriers, which are estimated to have displacement between 35,000 to 40,000 tons. The Type 075 would give the Chinese Navy the ability to launch various types of helicopters to attack naval vessels, enemy ground forces or submarines. The vessels will also be able to deploy landing craft and troops, plus house command and control operations. At least two more Type 075S are under construction at a shipyard in the major eastern city of Shanghai. Their introduction will significantly boost the plan's ability to conduct large amphibious operations. The Dalian, Defender of Carriers The Dalian is the second ship of the 12 to 13,000 tons Type 055 stealth guided missile destroyers, which are seen as roughly analogous to the US Navy's Ticonderoga class cruisers. It is equipped with the Aegis combat system. It is a multi-mission design, the combination of sensors and weapons suggests a main role of area air defense, with anti-submarine warfare capabilities. Each Type 055 is fitted with a phased array radar similar to those found on the Aegis equipped cruisers and destroyers, and is armed with a total of 112 vertical launching missile cells for surface to air, anti ship or land attack cruise missiles. The Type 055 is expected to undertake expeditionary missions and form the primary escort for Chinese aircraft carriers. China is concurrently building at least eight Type 055S destroyers at two shipyards in Shanghai and the northern Chinese port city of Dalian. Chengzing 18, Nuclear Retaliation The Chengzing 18 is one of two such submarines undergoing construction, bringing the PL Navy's fleet to six. The Type 094A vessel has the tonnage above 10,000 tons and can deliver missiles with multiple warheads on them. It can carry up to 12 CSSN-14, JL-2, submarine-launched, nuclear-tipped ballistic missiles, which reportedly has a range of about 4,500 miles. According to the U.S. Defense Department, China is planning a follow-on class of ballistic missile submarines dubbed the Type 096, which is expected to be armed with the JL-3 sub-launched ballistic missile. Now. Let's talk about the Indian Navy's plan for this year. Indian Navy is expected to get delivery of INS Vikrant aircraft carrier and Visa Kapetnam class stealth guided missile destroyer by the end of 2021. They will be formally commissioned into the Navy next year. The commissioning of vessels takes time as it is to be tested by the naval personnel for its capability. The Cochin shipyard will start the final trial to INS Vikrant as precursor of handing over the carrier to the Indian Navy. 
The Mazag and Dockyards will complete trials of INS Visa Cap 8 Nam and deliver the stealth destroyer close to the Indian Navy Day. The Visa Cap 8 Nam class destroyers Project 15B are an improved version of the Kolkata class destroyers Project 15A. It incorporates significant changes in the superstructure and improve the ship's stealth characteristics. A total of four destroyers were ordered under Project 15B. The destroyer will have a range of over 7,400 km and speed of 56 km per hour. It will be equipped with four 8-cells vertical launch system for a total of 32 Barak-8 surface-to-air missiles, to give aerial protection to the vessel. It will also have two 8-cells universal vertical launch module for 16 BrahMos anti-ship and land attack cruise missiles apart from torpedoes for anti-submarine warfare. The destroyer will be equipped with one B5-inch 62 caliber MK45 naval gun and four AK630 close-in weapon system. It can also host two Sea King or Halvif helicopters. INS Vikrant also known as Indigenous Aircraft Carrier 1, EAC-1, will be powered by General Electric turbines. INS Vikrant can carry 26 fixed-wing aircrafts including MiG-29K fighters and 10 Kamov K-31 or Halvif helicopters. The aircraft carrier's strike force will have a range of over 15,000 km and speed of 52 km per hour. The aircraft carrier will be equipped with two 32 cells vertical launch system for a total of 64 Barak-8 surface-to-air missiles, to give aerial protection to the vessel. It will also have four 76mm dual-purpose cannon and four AK-630 close-in weapon system. The INS Visa Kapatnam's main attack weapon is anti-ship and land attack BrahMos cruise missiles apart from torpedoes for anti-submarine warfare. It will also have latest multifunction Israeli l 2 ASA radar, capable of tracking both air and surface targets and providing fire control guidance. Recently we have heard a lot about the preferences of Indian Navy. While, the Indian Navy is deciding to go ahead with nuclear-powered conventional submarines, the plan for third aircraft carrier is not shelved. INS Vishal, which is going to be the third aircraft carrier, is now be seen as a replacement for the presently serving INS Vikramaditya. The plan is to concurrently develop INS Vishal so that there is no gap when INS Vikramaditya is decommissioned and mothballed. The INS Vikramaditya is currently under maintenance and will be available for operations in the coming months. This was today's update. Please let us know what are your views about this in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. We will be soon back with more amazing developments happening in the defense sector.